Hey everybody out there. So today for you guys, we are going to be profiling a deck that um, is pretty fun to play with actually. I've been testing this deck out for a couple of months. Um, after one of the ban lists happened, I was going to profile it right before the ban list happened and then they hit guard dragons and I was like, okay, I need to go back and retool the deck. And then the other ban list came out by that time and I was like, okay, um, <laughs> I gotta put this deck off again. But finally... We are getting to this deck profile. I've been playing this deck for a good chunk of a half a year now, even though I didn't plan to do that. And it's been a really fun deck to play. Um, so without further ado, let us get into it. Now, I'm going to say this as I get into the deck profile. Um, a lot of Red Dragon are Archfiend decks out there, which is what this deck is, are very similar, um, but with different takes on it. So your build may be similar, your deck may not be similar. Different people build it differently, I find. Um, but overall, it's been really fun to play with, and I hope that in the future they get more monster support, especially in the main deck. They have great extra deck monsters, but they need better main deck monsters, I feel like, to some degree, to bring out the full potential of the deck. But without further ado, let's get into it. So first off, we got our three Synchron Resonator. This guy is really essential to go into your bigger... Synchro monsters in your extra deck, mainly your Red Dragon Archfiend monsters. This guy's very good and useful for that reason because you're able to special summon him if you have a Synchro on the field and then do different combo plays. So, uh, Red Resonator is very essential as well to do your different th plays in the deck, actually. Um, you get to normal summon him, special summon a, you know, another monster, go for your basic you know plays that in the extra deck. Uh, so definitely essential as a three of in the extra, the main deck, excuse me, I feel like. He's one of the better Resonator monsters along with Synchro Resonator. Uh, next we run One Chain Resonator, which is decent. I used to run this card as a two of uh, for a hot bit, but then I found out it kind of get bricky. And so I went back to just running it as a one of. But in addition to this, I do run one um, creation creation re resonator which is pretty a decent it's a pretty decent card like i really like this card a lot um in the past when i was first building this deck i was playing around with the ratios of these resonators in particular um i was going with i knew these ones over here like you know synchron resonator and then also red resonator i wanted to run as you know three of's of each but these i was play testing um because i was trying to find the right balance of tuners uh resonator monsters as well as just just resonators in general and i was going back and forth between two and two and then i went down to one and two and then i cut this down to one of this was months ago but i'll say this you could run different ratios of these resonators if you wanted to and you can play around with it but i decided at the end of the day to cut them for space and for other reasons to cut them both down to one of a piece they're very good resonator monsters though um next up i run three red wet warg uh, three red warg. This guy is really useful. Uh, you have a res. You when you normal summon a resonator monster, you get to special summon this guy. This guy is very essential to help go into your bigger synchro, you know, arch fiend plays. Uh, definitely a staple as a three of in any resonator or red dragon arch fiend deck. It's very essential and very useful as a three of. So definitely run three of this guy. Um, next. I run two Red Sprinter. Now, you don't have to run Red Sprinter in the deck anymore. Um, I still like it. I used to run this guy as a three of staple every day because he was that good of a card when he came out. Nowadays, I'm running him more as a two of. I've played around with one of in the deck, and I keep going back and forth. Uh, I wonder sometimes if I want to cut him for some hand traps, uh, you know, some more hand traps perhaps. Or things like Call by the Grave. You know, something along those lines is something that I've been thinking about doing. But I just haven't done that yet. You know, I've thought about running some more hand traps. Call by the Grave, like I said. Things of that nature. But at the end of the rainbow, I decided to keep him in the deck as a 2 of Because he's very helpful to do a lot of your plays with in the deck still. Um, but yeah, you can cut him. And if you want to run some other stuff, go right ahead. Uh, next, I run two Wandering King Wildwind. Now, if you guys don't know what Wandering King Wildwind does, uh, he's very useful for um, going for, hel helping you go for more synchro plays. 
His uh, ability to be special summoned is a benefit as well in the deck. And I've liked him for that reason mainly in the deck because he allows me to get a special summon then I can get a normal summon out. If I get like a red resonator then normal summon something that brings something else out. And then I can go for a big synchro play that turn or possibly use him for an exceed fodder play and then go into you know other synchro plays as well. But he is definitely a staple as a 3 of in the deck. Next we run 3 uh, Primitive Butterfly. Now... <laughs> This card, this card, uh, this card really is interesting. So, if you guys remember years ago, I found this card in a commons box when I was trying to build like an insect deck with Super, po super, <laughs> super Cocoon of Evolution. And uh, then I started seeing other people use it for Resonator decks and I've just laughed ever since. It's a really good card in the deck. Uh, I definitely like it in the deck as a three of the ability to make him add a level so you special summon him out make him become a level six you bring a resonator out uh, there you go you got your synchro plays going so he's definitely essential i feel like in the deck as a three of um but you can definitely play around with him um every resonator deck that i've seen pretty much runs this guy nowadays because he's just that good of a card i uh, have to help out but yeah this random old common has seen a lot more play in the last couple of years uh, for reasons I don't know why. Now, I like running the rocket engine in the deck, and there's a multitude of different reasons why I run the rocket engine in the deck, but at the end of the day, this has been very helpful, and the rocket engine is a good support engine to help the deck do what it needs to do, uh, per se. So I definitely like three rockets, in these different rockets in the deck. Um, Mainly, I will I'll, we'll point out, this guy over here, is, he can be a brick, but I really like him in the deck. Like, after playtesting, I really like him. I was trying him out uh, recently I, after I looked at the Rocket Structure deck. Um, and yeah, he's been really useful. He can be bricky, but I do like him. But he helps you go into bigger synchro plays and whatnot. Um, this Rocket in particular, he's very useful because if you have a dead Synchro in the graveyard, you can use him to reborn it and go for a Synchro play. Um, but overall, these are the Rockets I run, and these are the ratios I run. Uh, you can try different ones out, but the Rocket engine is really useful in the deck, I would say that. So, yeah. These are the Rockets we run. Uh, next, we run three Quick Launch because we're running the Rocket engine, as you can imagine. So, this is a good... This is a staple in the deck to help special summon out your rockets to help go for your synchro plays. So, yeah, there you go. Three quick launch. Uh, we also run three resonator call uh, because resonator call helps you add those resonators to your hand, from your deck to your hand, and it just helps you deck thin as well. So more rota cards in the deck is very useful. Uh, next up, I run three return of the dragon lords. Uh, I love this card. Um, remember the days back when Blue Eyes was meta and people wanted to hit this card? You may not remember those days, but I do. Um, but yeah, to see this as a common print is so weird. Uh, but yeah, definitely through Return of the Dragon Lords. It helps you reborn your dragon monsters, helps you do plays with your synchros, and bring them back to the main monster zone so you don't have to put them in the extra monster zone. And just, it's a good card overall to have. The deck is a three of, and it gives you protection. So, yeah. Uh, three call by the grave. Now, if you noticed, I'm not running hand traps. I'm not running, you know, things like Ash Blossom and Joy Springs. Um, the reason for that is because I was doing playtesting, and like I said earlier, I may cut things out to run some hand traps. But I found that this deck really needs call by the grave more than it needs Ash. So for space reasons. Like I said, I'm still playing around with it. I decided to run three Call by the Graves. Because Call by the Grave is essential in this deck. You need it because your opponent negates one thing and it can lead to your demise. You definitely want Call by the Grave over Ash Blossom if you can. Ash Blossom is good, but I've been able to win games without it because it's just, this is more essential. This has won me more games because I've negated one of their hand traps than if I pretended this to be an Ash Blossom and negated one of their cards. I'm going to be honest with you with that. But yeah, three call by the grave. Hope that made sense what I was trying to say. Next, I run Upstart Goblin. Because this is a combo-oriented deck, I want to get to my cards quickly. One Foolish Burial. 
you guys should understand why I'm running this. Help send some th certain things to the graveyard to get them going. And then once one monster reborn to reoccur my monsters to get back, bring do combo plays with them. You you get the gist. So that is the main deck in a nutshell. Um, we are now gonna transition over to the extra deck. So yeah, hopefully my explanations on that extra deck, that main deck was pretty good for you guys to help you understand why I chose certain ratios. So first I got the Signer Dragon token, which I'm so happy the, they printed this. Um, and I, I'm playing this as a, my token in the deck. Uh, first we have one Scarlet Red Dragon Arch Fiend. I do apologize, that's a Ghost Rare I've had for years. But yeah, that's Scar Red Dragon Arch Fiend there, if you can tell. So I run double of him, uh, it's very useful. Uh, two red rising dragon. We run two of him. Uh, we run one red hot dragon arch fiend. You do or do not have to run him, but I still like him in the deck. Uh, we run one bane, which is good. Abyss bane, excuse me. It's not bane. No, excuse me. Red hot dragon arch fiend abyss, not bane. This is bane. I'm looking at bane right now. Then we have one hot red dragon arch fiend bane. So abyss and then bane. And then I run one. Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend as well. Um, you sometimes go for these big ones. Our Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity. Yeah, you can still go for this guy. He's pretty cool. One Boral Lord Savage Dragon, which we run in the deck. Uh, one BLs, the Diabolical Dragon. You can make this. This is still good in 2019. One um, Beat Cop from the Underworld, which is a really good card. A Link 2, just generic Link 2. And then one Psyframe Lambdia, uh, which I'm running. You could run Wee Witch's Apprentice. I've thought about that, but um, I decided to go with Lambda just, just because I have it. But uh, yeah, and also because some um, when I'm, I took this deck to tournament recently, I was side free, I was side decking Gammas. So I ran this guy because of that reason as well. So yeah, this is mainly in here because the side deck, which I've disassembled now, I don't have it, but... I do like the Gamma Package Engine in the side deck. It's been very helpful to negate stuff. Um, like I said, stops hand traps from ruining my day. Um, so yeah, that's the extra deck, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this deck. Like I said, it's a fun deck to play. Like, really fun to play. And I thoroughly enjoyed playing with it over the summer. Um, I'm hoping they get new support soon. It'd be really awesome if that happens. But till next time, guys, um, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. I hope you guys all enjoyed this deck profile. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel and click the like button down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for all your support, and I'll see you guys next time. Sorry for taking it. I do apologize before I end this video. I want to say I'm sorry this video took a while to make. Um, like I said, I kept changing the deck profile, and different band lists came up. So, yeah. So next time, guys, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. And I'll see all of you guys next time. Take care.